All right, let's check out what we got here. Home light case. That was what I was actually after. We got the uh, Eager Beaver Disaster Chainsaw. May or not, may not work. Uh, we have one spark plug appears used. We have one Duracraft 7 16 extra premium box wrench made in the India, China, maybe. The chain here, which looks, I think that's a new chain. We have a brand new chain, that's nice. We got the uh, safety tip, which I believe would go out there. Probably not the worst thing in the world. We got, and this is when, it, you know, you're getting serious now. Homemade rags. Now, I'm not judging. I make my own rags, too, but that's good. I mean, it's a serious person owned this chainsaw. Uh, we have a funnel, which needs a little cleaning, but funnels are good. Leads me to believe that's hard to fill. Uh, we, have a, we have a newspaper. What do we got here? What year? 2012. August 20th. Okay. Uh, we got the name of the owner on that piece of mail. We're not going to show that. We're going to set this to the side. Let me put that back in there. All right. What do we got? So, I really don't know that much about this chainsaw. Other than I've heard they're a nightmare. That seems metal. It seems like it's made of metal. I don't know if there's a lot of... Like, it doesn't seem that used to me. Like, honestly, it doesn't seem like a very used chainsaw. Now, the guy I bought this from, what he said was, this was his chainsaw. He used this chainsaw to cut trees down with. But the house he lives in now... There are no trees to cut, so he no longer needs a chainsaw. Now, that's fine. He said he cut the neighbor's tree down with it not that long ago. Uh, he did say something about once it's running and it gets hot, it has issues. So, the joy with this particular chainsaw, and I did watch a couple videos on, oops, on uh, it in general. So... Okay, let's let's show you the whole thing here. There's the carb adjustments there and the choke. That's at the rear. So to get to that, you have to literally crack the case, pull the tank out. Seems like there's some fuzz hanging out there. This may be a two-part video. <laughs> you know, what I'm really hoping is I'll put some gas in this thing, but like I usually clean it up a little bit, so this is going to be me polishing. It's a video of me polishing a chainsaw. Now, is this a one-handed chainsaw? Like, I kind of thought this was a one-hander. There's no... S oh, that one, there's a little bit of a shocker on there. Like, I always thought these were, like, arbor chainsaws. Like, when you're up in the tree, you get the small one out. But it's really heavy. I watched a video of a guy who repairs chainsaws for them. Anyway, well, here's the thing. I paid five bucks for all this, officially. This is what I wanted, was this case, which I think is fair for a used chainsaw case. Anyways, the video I saw of the dude that repairs chainsaws for a living, he says, I talked about this in my live stream, I said it wrong. I said replace the carb. No, he replaces the spark plug. And then once the spark plug's replaced, he puts fresh oil in it, pulls the rope, and then uh, if it doesn't work, it's broken, he ain't gonna fix it. How's our compression? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's got compression. I already checked earlier, there's nothing in the tanks, which is a good sign, I guess, which means, like generally that means the person who owned it kind of took care of it, I guess. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's got much use to it. I'm really hoping this thing will work. I don't know what years these are, if I can figure out how to, I'm gonna look at the tight, the tight print here. You know, the instruction thing, sticker's still good. It was assembled in Mexico, looks like 19, in my eyes, 1985. And this chainsaw is from 85, wow, I didn't realize it'd be that old. It's an oldie but a goodie, but like, I'm 
pretty sure that's all metal. Like, there's no plastic. I have another Eager Beaver that's, like, got a bunch of plastic on it. And I rebuilt it, and it, it just works. You know, it's just a chainsaw. It's, it's not steel by any sense of the imagination, but it's got a new bar on it, which, you know.